Hey guys, this is a 2004 Highlander with 3MG FE V6 engine. So this video applies to all of the following cars. You can see I've got check engine, VSC, track off and ABS warning lights. And I'm also getting following error codes, P300 random misfire. P304 misfire on cylinder 4, P306 misfire on cylinder 6, P171 fuel condition too lean on bank 1, P174 fuel condition too lean on bank 2. The trouble started on first engine start after performing the following. Replaced valve cover gaskets, replaced spark plug tube seals, replaced intake manifold gasket, replaced spark plug, replaced PCV, replaced fuel injector o-rings, replaced bunch of connectors that broke, replaced a broken EVAP hose. The engine was running fine just prior to this work and the only problem was severe oil leak. Since I've done so many things at one time which required disconnecting bunch of wires, hoses, fuel injectors, etc. it was not immediately clear as to what I may have done wrong. Right now the engine is misfiring, running rough and it stutters like it's going to die. Also, there is a lot of smoke coming from the front bottom side of the car. To be more accurate, it smells just like when I had coolant leak on the engine and produced a bunch of white steam on my Nissan Murano while back. I'm also hearing loud hissing sound near the passenger side of the intake manifold, but it's getting too dark, so I resorted to investigate this next morning. So next morning, I checked all the connectors and hoses, and they all looked fine. Also, I couldn't find any oil or coolant leak. So I started the engine and looked for the source of the loud hissing sound. And the PCB hose on the intake manifold side was disconnected. And of course, this is not visible to the eye. And I could only feel it by hand. I had already cleared the check engine codes. And once the PCB hose was connected, voila, engine ran smoothly. And both misfire and two lean conditions disappeared. Interestingly, the white smoke also disappeared. So it goes to show you how critical all the vacuum lines are. So if you're having a similar situation, be sure to check all the vacuum hoses first before randomly replacing other parts. This 18 year old car with 215 K miles, many rubber hoses were no more flexible. They felt like hard plastic. So even if the hose look visually good, make sure to check for any cracks and leaks. Also, there is one metal outlet on the front side of the engine and there's no hose that connects to it. And I believe this is the exact area where the coolant steam was coming up from. So I'm wondering if coolant was spilling out of this outlet and onto the exhaust so the white smoke or steam was created. If anyone knows what that outlet is, please comment back. I really want to be sure that I'm not missing a hose there. So that cleared the check engine light, but I still had VSC, track off, and ABS lights. At that time, I recall a similar intermittent problem that I was having on my 2006 Lexus GS300, which I fixed by replacing the gas cap. So I just checked the gas cap and re-tightened it, and all three remaining warning lights disappeared. Now, I may have to replace the gas cap, but at least for now, I know the root cause of the problem. Finally, I have 200 video clips from all the recent work I've done and it's taking some time to edit these videos, but they're coming soon. Hope this can help someone and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.